Welcome to the latest video on Windows Server 2012 looking at snapshotting domain controllers. The ability to snapshot domain controllers has been added as a feature based on uh, user requests by Microsoft. However, as always, you know, snapshotting domain controllers, database systems would all be regarded as a, uh, an operation which should only be done as a very last resort. It would never be regarded as a best practice capability. To see this technology in action, we'll switch over to our Windows Server 2012 machine and we'll go to the Hyper-V management console and connect to our domain controller. So we've got the Hyper-V management console here and we can see we have a machine called QADCO1 as a domain controller and we will actually take a snapshot of that machine before we start. So you can see that we're generating a snapshot as you would expect with any virtualization platform. Having completed that, what we'll now do is we'll now connect to Active Directory Users and Computers and we will make a change to Active Directory. So in this case we'll just go in and we'll go and create a user. So nice and simple, we'll just call this user Snapshot User. Now the problem you often run into, if you snapshot domain controllers and then roll back a domain controller, uh, you can start to get Active Directory diversions because the system systems won't start replicating changes between themselves because of reusing SIDs and various other um, problems. So we'll just confirm that that new user object has been replicated across to the other domain controller that we've got in the network and we can see the snapshot user account exists. So having completed that what we could now do is we could now actually go and apply the snapshot. So obviously the snapshot I took just now was before the user account was created. So I'm going to roll the domain controller back to an earlier point in time before that change occurred. So I'm going to apply the early snapshot and that will now apply the snapshot. Now what actually happens is once the snapshot gets applied the hypervisor has been told as part of the sort of process Microsoft has developed to generate a new uh, identification number. This number is known as the VM generation ID. So this is a number that the hypervisor presents to the virtual machine. Active Directory then stores that number against the computer object inside the Active Directory database. Because that number has been changed now, the domain controller detects that. So if we now look in the event messages being generated, you can now see that it states that the generation ID uh, change has been detected and it now basically goes into a recovery mode. So as part of going into a recovery mode, what that effectively means is the system will throw away the RID pool, it will set the invocation ID flag and it will cause replication to occur. And as you can see, the snapshot user account has been replicated across back to this domain controller uh, safely and successfully. So that completes the demonstration of showing snapshotting of domain controllers under Windows Server 2012. It is important to remember that any hypervisor you're going to do this on has to support the VM generation ID. So today that's Hyper-V uh, Hyper running on Windows Server 2012 and that's VMware 5.1. And I'm sure other hypervisors including Citrix Zen Server will have this feature very very soon. Thank you very much. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter as Paul L. Gregory. Thank you.